Devil May Cry 5. Now we are back again in part 2 of my Devil May Cry 5 marathon. The fifth game. And here we are now in, uh, I believe this is mission 6, I think. I think I'm wrong. So we are definitely going to continue where we left off last time when we fought Gilgamesh. So I am fighting a bunch of scissors. Yeah, um, uh, how you guys doing today? Hope you guys doing well, doing okay, and uh, happy Sunday for everybody. Today is Sunday as I'm recording this voice. Today is the 26th, I guess. Of Sunday at this point, so 26. So yeah, we are almost at the end of March, and so that'll be like the end of the first couple years of this. The book, uh, sorry, these the couple months of this year. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, obviously gonna be a sick year today, hopefully for you, for this channel and everything. And uh, yeah, and uh, we now here fighting a bunch of. Uh, Riots. I use, you know, play as Virgil here, doesn't know. And this is like the last game of this, uh, the final game of the marathon, and then the marathon is over. So, I've been doing the marathon, I don't know how long I've been doing this marathon, probably just for like two months. And I know normally the marathon, I should definitely do all of them in one video, but I separate them just to get space in, it's gonna take me way more extra time. Trust me, it's going to take more extra time if I did it all in one go and the how much, how much, how much did I take, so it's going to be a long ass, be a long video, but I like to put on parts, it's better and it's easier, you know, I don't want to, you know, overwork myself with this, so, the chest was basically just enemy fights, nothing much to say about this chapter, and, uh, I think we're gonna come across our first uh, Nilla Angelo or the Proto Angelo. Sorry, that's what it's what called in this game. So we got the say it, the Proto Angelo. Proto Angelos are pretty much one of the hardest games and pretty much the strongest enemy in the game. Like besides like other enemies, like health wise and damage wise. Next to the Queen and Pusa, I guess. So I think the Pusa is a little weaker, but the um the knight the pro knights are fucking insane and uh yeah these guys are really blitz like really health sponges they have a lot of health and when they're in dt mode their damage are scale up way they scale up dramatically scales up damage it comes riots i hate riots in dt and i don't recommend <laughs> I don't recommend to stay up in the ground for too long because these riots like to do the uh, the roll, the spin attack they do, the roll attack, and deal a lot of damage. You take about like two hits, and you'll be pretty much in the bad shape. Look at that! Look at my health. Yeah, I was kind of like just trying to not stay on stay on the ground too much because that's death. And I'm trying to do the new punch and succeed it beating them and sorry about my fan like I said it's hot sometimes it's hot sometimes so uh, like yeah sometimes it's hot sometimes so I like, like to cool off sometimes all right here comes the the knight it's not a boss fight to be honest it's just like a, a regular fight I'm not sure it's a boss it's not a boss battle I thought it was like that was like Nella Angelo but it's not it's for Angelo I know they say that this is like kind of like a boss fight, but it's just a regular enemy. I know it has the the boss uh, thing in there, and the game count as a boss, but I don't count it as an actual boss fight. So, you know, I don't count as a boss, I count as like a regular enemy of all the enemies. And he is a, uh, like I said, he's a health sponge. When he's like a normal, normally, he's not that bad, but when he's in DT form, he takes a beating. And I mean, he takes some abuse. Like, you could just throw him the most strongest move and he will survive. That's why I try to focus on him and try to 
give him like strong blows. So yeah, that's why I just wanted to at least uh Oh yeah, his swing and his DT form. Like if you look at my health now, if my health was in the first bar, with the second bar, I'll be dead because his attack deals insane damage. So that's why I'm staying away from him. Stay away from him, he will deal tons of damage and he will potentially kill you in one hit. And one his one big like you know, like that, that swing right there. A good thing about Virgil's move is basically he's invisible. Look at that! I just popped in a lot of a lot of signature attacks. And he's still alive. That's how. That's how I told you he's a a freaking health sponge. This man is a freaking. This guy takes tons of abuse. It's just insane. Like this man is literally it's like it's just crazy. Holy crap! This this literally this whole like this guy is insane. This guy is literally. Literally insane. It's just, it's insane. Now I try to do the, the, the uppercut to kill him, but I think I got him. Here we go. Now we're mission um, eight. Right now, the last one was seven, so at least now numbers is eight. Uh, this is where we come our first fury. Yeah, it's sort of the first fury of this game. Because on this difficulty, on Dante Must Die and South Sparta, you fight furies. You fight a fury here. No, your fury will appear. In Dante section, mission uh, 11, mission 12. I think, no, 12. It was mission 12. And there's gonna be a lot of skips. This is one of my, like, I think one of the first levels that are actually a skip. So I'm gonna skip a lot. So where, like, there's a lot of skips in this mission, there's a skip. There's actually two skips in this mission. And I think in mission 10, there's a skip in mission 10. I think from mission 9 all the way up to mission, um, I don't know, mission, uh, 15? Up to there, there's, a lot of be there's gonna be a lot of skips. As you can see there, I try to, you know, I hit him. As soon as he teleport, as soon as he spawns, just as quick as possible. Or just stand there and just wait until you kill all the enemies, get to the gauntlets, like release a DT and just do that nuke punch. Because if you do that as soon as he spawns, as soon as you see him like fully spawned, you know, you'll hit him and he'll, he'll instantly die because he's that freaking weak. Sometimes I miss and if I miss it's gonna be suck, so um, so yeah. Um, so here we go. We go. Just zooming through, of course. That's how I do my editing. Just basically just zooming through the entire game instead of just make it to a long video, like like a long drawn out video, which takes a while. And my content will take a long time. Here, here we go. Here's supposed to skip. All I do here is there's actually ways you can do that. One the ways you can do it is uh, the air taunt. Utilize Virgil's air taunt. You can just like just go through and stuff, and you can do the air steamer as well, just to have more momentum. To grab more momentum. momentum. So this is where the uh, frost type of dudes, like those guys, make their first appearance in this mission. They're really easy to kill, even when they're DT. Still have fun finding these guys. So because you don't have to attack them, because they can deal damage on you. Here comes the second Angelo of the game. There's one, I do another one right after. There you go, there's another one. And I just hit him. It actually hits, so don't worry, it hits. As you can see, you know. I haven't took a single hit in this chapter, by the way. At this point, I haven't took a single hit, which is amazing. And I went the wrong way again. I went to the wrong way, so, uh, yeah. I went to the wrong way. So we're plowing through. Basically, we have, like, enemy gauntlets, basically. Every enemy gauntlet had to go up these elevators, whatever they're called, and I hit X by I want to jump. My mistake. That was a, a big mistake on my part. I forgot to cut that out. <laughs> I completely forgot to cut it out of the video, so. So yeah, this video will be actually released tomorrow as like the, as you guys watching this, um, it's going to be released today. It will, if you guys watching the next day, but you know, because this video will be out on Monday. So yeah, on Monday this video is going to be out, so 
And then the next episode will be out on Wednesday. And the final episode, hopefully the last episode will be on Friday. So if heck if but if like you know, except the video if the last part's gonna take me like less than 20 minutes then I might just record just put it in there as well and then do maybe I'll do one more epilogue and just get my final thoughts on it. You know and all that shit, so uh get like my ending I guess you could say. So yeah. Maybe something like that. I try to do a a charge straight to um, nobody here. As you can see, step in the air is really a help. You play on not too much die. With Virgil, I think it's not that bad. And yeah, by the way, let you guys know that uh, like spoiler well alert, in mission twelve, I don't have to. I didn't use super um super character like I always intended. So. Because I was trying it and I was like, I might actually just die and actually reset the entire thing. But I didn't die, so I did die in this entire playthrough because uh, because I'm good at the game, that's why. I'm not going to be like Tiger and say, oh, I'm a gamer or whatever and just try to be sound all cocky and shit. And yep, this guy was standing there. There's a piece that was standing there that helped me teleport there. Now I'm saying thank you to help me out there. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to fight... Uh, Urizen, this is the what's this? The uh, um, this is probably the uh, second fight. Yeah, the second Urizen battle. This is here normally you do it with Nero. The first one was at the prologue. This is the second one. The third one's gonna be in chapter two three. That's gonna be the third one, and the last one's gonna be in chapter. Oh my god. I completely just dodged that. Holy crap, that was insane. And yeah, that nuke punch there, that'll, that'll take the crystal out very fast. Look at that, now the crystal destroyed, thanks for that punch. And I tried to do some taunt or whatever to get some DT on. Hit him. Normally that's the end of the fight, but there's a second form. And it's definitely, of course, it's actually the fighter in this form, but I decided to get some ranking. So. Yeah, so I had to beat him. But I actually beat him in that part, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You'll get the... <coughs> Sorry about that. You'll get the uh, trophy if you beat the... Uh, Yurizen and the prologue and stuff like that. You can do that once you beat the game. You just play on easy and just do that and you can actually beat him. It's not that hard. And here comes the tentacle thing, look at the damage. I think you gonna see how much damage it's gonna take. I think, I don't know which one actually hit me, I think, I don't know, something's gonna hit me and you guys see the damage. But his, uh, crystal's right behind him by the way. Up here comes the tentacles, fucking hate these things, these things are taking so much damage, doing a lot. Oh, I just did a book shield. I think he's pretty much weak, he's very weak at this stage. Because normally you should definitely not kill him, but, I mean, it's, it's optional. Most optional kills, but yours in. But there are like levels that you have to kill him. Oh yeah, I forgot. Did that? Sorry, this, there wasn't like four. Sorry, it's like five. Five years in fights. The one's gonna be chapter like ten. All right, here comes the. Uh, I might get hit in a second there. I'm about to get hit. Okay, here we go. Look at that damage. Look at this. Look at that. That is read. Ridiculous damage. That is absurd. One hit. Look at this. And then the tentacle hit me. Does that absolutely kill me? Just hit, he hit me twice, and I just got fucked. You gotta be freaking joking with me right now, dude. You got. You gotta be kidding me. This is freaking retarded. Yeah, <sighs> it's just stupid. Anyways, we are now on mission. Um, uh, mission nine. Uh, V's second. The third last mission for V, but it's Virgil, so of course. Yeah, that's one of the things I hate about the special editions or like when Virgil is playable. It's just like just replay the whole level. Like just complete, this pure laziness. Like, I don't know why the fuck didn't have its own level. I don't understand it. I tried of course to do some uh, different kind of end, but enemy has different plans for me, so. Oh, uh, oh, okay, never mind. I did. <laughs> I tried to do it early, but I failed. 
Okay, here we go. Got the combo. With some DT on. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That was amazing. I fucking was excited. I was very happy for I did that. The last, like, spin when he just broke the the Mirage Blade. I got fucking launched. That was amazing. I right, skipped that battle. Alright, right now I think we're gonna get to our big skip here. It's actually a fight skip that you can do. Alright, you go up here, Stinger or Flash, whatever the heck you do. And you all need to do. It's very easy with Virgil. All you gotta do is just do a Stinger or whatever. And then just use the. Realize the Taunt and Stinger just to have more. Just, just drive all the way over here. Just like, just basically, just get all the way over here, over there. So you basically avoided a fight. You avoided a fight, so it will lower your score, but it's really helpful. So I try here is kill these coffins because it's, these coffins houses a blade enemy, a double blade enemy. But I try to hit it and I failed, and I spawned the cage, so the enemy spawns in. So. Here's the first uh, Hellbat of the game. On that time must die, the very first Hellbat you fight. And yeah, th this fight I was a bit, you know, fucked up a little bit. And I actually recorded this. I think I recorded this like today, I think. Yeah, I recorded this to actually today. No, not today. Not today, sorry. Yesterday. I'm not mistaken, sorry. I recorded this yesterday, like last night. So, I recorded this last night, not today, I'm sorry. I recorded it yesterday, my mistake, it's just a little mistake. Um, yesterday, I recorded this uh, pretty late. Because, you know, it wasn't, you know, I don't play with my friends, I decided to like, just, remember, just record a little bit. And I just recorded all the way up to mission uh, 14 now, so it's about 5 more missions, and that'll be the end. I think the next part is going to be from mission, um, I don't know, mission 11, uh, no, I think, yeah, mission, so I think, was it, was it mission 11? Mission 12, I think, yeah, mission 12, all the way up to mission 14 or 15, yeah, 14 or 15, and then mission 16 and 17, 18 is going to be all in one, so that's going to be like the the fourth part, and then the finale is going to be the last two part, the last two fights. The the Nero, so sort of the Dante and Virgil fight will be the I think this is, is that no, I think we have to fight is the uh, the battle against uh, this time. Um, it's going to be the battle between the Malay Island trio and the. The Dante boss battle to just cap it all off, and that's the end of DMC5 in the marathon. All right, find these two Angelos are I like literally to the point sometimes I'm just always jumping and go up in like in the air because I don't trust them. I think they're in DT mode. Okay, so one and I did two right after, and I did just make cut in as well just to. Uh, get their health down so because these guys are like I said these guys take a they take a beating and I mean a literally a beating to take down it's just it's so ridiculous it's unbelievable all right now we're coming now at the end of the level we're gonna find some nobodies it's not our first pair of nobodies it's just a couple pair of nobodies and the game just saying that these guys are bosses or not bosses the regular enemies. If they're bosses, they have boss health. They don't have any boss health at all. If they did, then I was like, alright, that makes sense. Now I'm just gonna. But as you can see, utilizing a lot of super. I use a lot of Sin DT. So I use tons of them. And I completely forgot about um, going down the volume in one go. I should have done that. It's just a error of me. Anyways, uh, the, the gameplay volume sounds like it, because the gameplay volume sounds as loud. I did use V there. So, alright, here we go. Mission uh, 10. Dante's mission. Uh, this is Dante's very first mission. And this mission is basically one of the worst missions to get an S rank on. But there's actually a tip. 
I found out that it actually works with Dante and V and, uh, and Virgil, so it works between both. And the style points you get, the good, the thing about this is you good your play, the shit your score score will be. I'm trying using the Rolling Thunder, and I'm just keep doing this freaking Stinger Bees, the Sky Falling all the time. Yeah, freaking great, such a good Devil May Cry player am I? So, uh, anyways, yeah, so I jumped and jump, and I think I got caught. I don't know, I think I got caught. A few, I did caught. There you go, I got caught. But good thing, look at that damage, I took a lot of damage there. That's a lot. And I hate the Queen, that's why I don't like the Queen of Pusa. These enemies are such a bitch to fight. Such a bitch to fight. Alright, here comes now this section. We have a teleport guy and blade enemy, and uh, that's it. That's basically all the ends in here. I try here is doing the multiple judgment cut air because at least I am in the, in the air and I can hit. So I decide to go on the floor and do 13s. Uh, utilize my sin DT and do this, and I completely missed the guy again. I did I do not learn from my mistakes at all because I don't know why. I don't know, but actually it hits. Probably yeah, probably it hits. But I just said oh I didn't get to get hit or something. So, I was like, I don't know why the fuck, I thought it didn't get hit, so, um, I don't know why, because I was kind of worried. So now I fight the last enemy, and I'm basically just trying to style on him, have fun with him a little bit, and then just kill him, that's it. So, there we go right now, we're gonna go all the way up to the next fight, the, these guys, basically the scarecrows of the... The Super Scarecrow of Devil May Cry 5. That's basically where it came from. I think Devil May Cry 5 have enemies from 1, 3, and 4 all together in one game. I don't I don't like the theme of bugs in this game. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. Just a fan of bugs. It's not Resident Evil. So, it's not a fan of it's not Resident Evil. So, yeah. So... Yeah, I'm um, uh, just fighting more enemies here and just speed them up and having fun. Yeah, that's what I do. I just, I just have fun fighting the enemies here. Alright, here comes the next part of fighting a fury. So, all I do is basically charge up my DT. Hold on, I'm charge my DT now. Release it, go up there, go there, boom, death. That's it, just death, 100% death. With Dante, just fire up your uh, Balrog and use the fists. To dodge him and then you'll be good. Or use the revolver with the servers. Alright, come this part. Uh, I do the wind punch again to kill enemies and getting. Feels like a triple S ranks in that one move, which I don't know why. That's how I got my high, <laughs> like, you know, getting all S ranks on Virgil. Just like, like stuff like that. Here comes another. After this, gonna be a skip and, and a, fight, a skip fight here. So in this part, what you have to do is spawn the enemies in here. I spawn them, go to DT, and just uh, rapid slash your way all the way up to when you get skip to there. You basically just skip. There you go, done. That actually helps a lot. And with Dante, just super singer or trickster all the way over there. So yeah. That's how you do with this part. Pretty simple and it does help. It'll give you, it'll actually benefit get you an S rank. So yeah, it didn't die. Yeah, I think even in Hell and Hell it works. So, cause heck, I did it in Hell and Hell and my god, it works. It works like a miracle. Alright, there I, ex I expected I didn't hit him, but I hit him and the bat. I, I thought I missed there because I was like, oh, actually, I was like, oh, wait, I hit him. And I was like, like saying, oh, shit, I missed. I was like, oh, actually, I hit him. I was like, oh, hell yeah, it's amazing. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, uh. So, I'm gonna jump here and we're gonna fight like an enemy fight and. Then that's pretty much it. Just see yours in. Either you die or you, you fight him. Whatever you want to do, do what you want to do, so... 
just do run easy run check just, just look the enemy to the work and try to get his uh, concentration gauge as much as I can to make him max out and use my Sin DT. As soon as I pop in my Sin DT, I do the new punch right away. Right there, there you go, right away, boom, look at that. Fucking instant triple S full. And I try to deal tons of damage to him. I so, said, look at that. He, him with DT on, like this dude takes. Look at the damage. Look at that hit. Look, look at right there. You seen right there? He took me a lot of health away. Look at that. This one hit strike that took me about like, like 15, 20 percent of my health. It's, it's just, just ridiculous. And then you know, I say, oh, I have small health. Like, okay, I can just die. You know, another this way to just die on purpose. So. Yeah, it doesn't count as a death, it's just something, uh, it's just like to have progress of the game. Then I decided to, I think I killed myself? I think I'm gonna die right now. Or I tried to do some stuff, I don't know what I was trying to do here. I tried to stop, I guess? I don't know, I tried to get some style points. I don't know what I'm at it, just doing nothing. It's best for you to actually to kill, to die. I think I got hit there. Oh, no, okay. I, think I, I think I get hit with the meteor. Look at this! Two lasers and a meteor coming in. Like, what the hell, game? Really? Wow. Really smart thing, Capcom. Nice thing here isn't. Fucking okay, asshole. Um, here we are now. Mission 11. So... One of my favorite missions in the game. If not my favorite mission, has contained one of my favorite... Contains one of my favorite bosses. In Devil May Cry 5, the Cavalier Angel fight. So we're gonna hope we're gonna fight him. We're gonna fight him in this video. So I think once we fight him, that'll be the end of this part. So yeah, buddy, it's gonna be the end of the part once we're done with this. So uh, it's gonna be the end. So uh, yeah, to the end of part two. Then we have part three. It's gonna be. I think some of the chapters are pretty long. I don't know. Maybe one of the videos I might take an hour to uh, record. I might just have some like bit, bit of stuff to talk for about like a couple minutes and then that's it. You guys can watch the video yourselves. I don't know. Hey, if you're the kind of person that watches like through the entire thing, I don't know if actually people do it. Check. <laughs> uh, I bet they don't watch the whole thing. So, and I missed there. Um, if you watch the entire thing from start to finish, um, good for you, to be honest. I'm just saying you're a loyal, loyal subscriber of mine. You're very much, very much a loyal subscriber. And if you really like actually watched the entire video from start to finish, I mean, that's a really amazing. That's really amazing of you. I, I'm, I'm really surprised you have that amount of time for you to watch the whole thing. All that stuff. Well, those I know the video sometimes takes maybe half an hour to an hour long. I was like, you watch like the whole thing. Even if you watch the whole thing, like from if you watch from this, like from start to finish in one sitting, I was like, damn, that's really amazing, and I really applaud you for that. If you watch it like, like you know, for an hour but take a bit breaks, and I was like, oh, it's okay, fine, it's okay, it's fine. But if you watch the whole thing in the first, like, in one go, it's just, damn, you're really amazing. You're a really loyal subscriber. Heck, I might give you a shout-out if you actually do that. I might actually give you a shout-out. I feel like people who actually really watch the whole thing from the finish. Yeah, that image is, they just say, you know what? I'm just out of here and hit me. Up in the air. Look at that. Ow. That hurt. That hurt really, really bad. I hate if I'm having this amount of health, is I just like panic because it's like a couple of hits I'll be dead, but I got one of them so I got some health back. So I try to combo him, throw him a little bit, get some. Yeah, I got the Shoryuken. I. Yeah, I, had, yeah, I hit it, but I thought I missed. But like I said, if you had watched the entire thing from start to finish, and all that stuff in one sitting, I really like applaud you. I really do applaud you, and you're really a loyal subscriber. Like, I'll really give you, like, you know, a shout out. If you're actually watching, like, those were like the ones who actually watched it, I was like, wow, you're really amazing. You're really amazing for liking, liking my content that much. I didn't expect, you know, 
a person like you to like my content that much. Like my, there's a way, there's like one thing to like, like my content, there's like the way you like my content a lot. If you want to like see more, I was like, that's like definitely one thing know. It's people definitely like y'all, you know, to keep me going and keep me wanting me to do this. You know? Like, if you, heck, if you watch like my whole thing, I was like, wow, you're really amazing. You're really, really amazing. And I'm like, saying, wow, dude, you're just literally. Like, people like you will definitely make me want to do this more and do more content on YouTube. If not, then I wouldn't even. Heck, I wouldn't even, like, uh, hit 100 subscribers without you guys. I wouldn't even, you know, um do streams or do anything I was like keep my like my channel will be gone and I can think I'll have like thoughts of like deleting my YouTube channel so that it didn't work but through like hard work and doing some effort then I nailed it I have a goal I'll achieve it no matter, no matter how hard it is I'll achieve that goal at the end of the day I'll achieve it and it feels good when you achieve your goals anything whether it's entertainment music everything you like so so yeah um uh, so yeah pretty much uh yeah pretty much i think it's uh just pretty cool if you actually watch the whole thing one go all right so here we are guys we're gonna fight um nello angelo battle one of my favorite bosses of the game uh, my favorite boss ever in a game so, it's actually one hell of a boss fight. It's just freaking awesome. It's really an amazing.